Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. If you've ever had a quilt where you want to addition quilting designs, but not necessarily redraft them in electric quilt, let me share with you a way to do that. The particular designs that I want to addition, I only have screenshots of them. Here is the EQ version of the quilt. And I want to fill some of the larger rectangles in the border and the larger colored corners for each of the blocks. I'm going to start by going to the image work table, select import image, navigate to wherever you have saved the snapshots on your computer, locate the snapshot, and select open. I'm going to select OK. If necessary, select Crop and drag the Crop window to encompass just the image that includes the quilting design. Select Apply Crop, and I'll add it to the sketchbook. Select Print and Export, followed by Image. Navigate to My EQ8 Images and set up a new folder. Locate the folder and label it Quilting Designs for Editioning. Select the folder, and under File Name, uh, create a name for your image. I'm going to call mine Lob by Designs by Helen, and select Save. In the Export dialog box, set the width and height at 6, set the resolution at 300, and turn off both of the options, and select OK. I will repeat the process for the second design. Under Image, select Import Image and navigate to the location of the stored image on your computer. Select it and select OK. Select Crop and adjust the Crop window to encompass just the quilting design. Select Apply Crop, select Print and Export, do an Export Image, type in a new name and select Save. No changes are necessary in the export box, so click on OK. Next, I'm going to a website called remove.bg, and I will select Upload Image, navigate to the new folder under My EQ8 Images, and locate one of the saved designs and select Open. This program will remove the white background so all we need to do is select Download. Navigate to the folder under My EQ8 Images, and notice that it has added the words Remove BG Preview, and select Save. Select the X to close, and select Upload Image. Locate the second image, and select Open, and select Download, and then select Save. Return to Electric Quilt. Select the home screen and select Libraries followed by Photo Libraries. And then select Import from Image Files. Navigate to your Remove Background Images and select them with the Control key and select Open. Do a Select All Photos and Add to Sketchbook and Close. On the quilt work table, I'm going to select layer 3, photo tools followed by set photo. And you're going to see that we actually have two of each of the images, one with the background, one without. Drag both of the images on the quilt just so we can see the difference. So can you see that the first one has that white background, which I don't want. With the Adjust tool, select and delete the first image, and select the second one. Under Block Rotation, type in 90, and drag to one of the border stripes. Under the Quilt Grid Setup, turn off Snap Block Position to Grid, but let's turn on Snap Block Size to Grid, and set the Grid Snap Increments at a half inch. I'm going to start by turning on the Preserve Aspect Ratio and then dragging a corner 
to see if I can find the size that works. Now I want to have some white space so I don't have to be super finicky when I actually quilt this. So I'm going to uh, make it just a little bit smaller. And the size that uh, seems to work well for me is a width of 5.5 and a height of 2. Now I could turn off preserve aspect ratio and do some additional sizing, but I frankly like the um, look of this. And so I will select the photo and do a copy paste and place in the other patch in the border block. Then select set photo. And this time we'll just select the um, one, the corner lobe with the remove background drag it on the quilt and select it with the adjust tool and we're going to position that over a corner for one of the center blocks. Drag a corner to resize and then you can drag the photo to position. And the size that I like for this is 5 by 5 and so then we're going to copy and do three pastes and place in the other corners. Select the photo in the lower left corner, change block rotation to 90, and drag the photo over the lower corner. For the upper right corner, select the photo and change the block rotation to minus 90 and position over the upper right corner of the block. The problem I had with the upper left corner is I typed in 180, but it didn't actually rotate, it flipped it back. So what I decided to do is use the controller command key and select the block, which engages the ability to use the corners to drag. And so I decided to drag the corner. And if I can't get it at 180, I'll just go with 179. Drag the photo to reposition it. I like the idea that I don't have to be super fussy about placement. Um, so if my piecing isn't perfectly accurate, I've got a little bit of wiggle room in the quilting design. And I will add to the project sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tip on additioning quilting designs from photos on your quilt. And if I manage to get my quilt quilted before the show, I hope to share some pictures with you next week.